Hey, what's up, guys? I got another action figure here I want to um, show you real quick. Um, I actually got this from a, uh, a good friend of mine. Um, he uh, saw it when he was out at a, um, a toy store that was, I think he said it was closing down, going out of business. And he saw this and thought of me. Um, I told him before... Um, you know, he kind of got me into, uh, watching the Doctor Who, um, series. It's kind of, uh, those of you guys who don't know what it is, it's, uh, from, um, it's like an English, uh, show from, like, um, the BBC network. And, um, it basically it's almost like, um, like the X-Files. It's similar to that. It's got this guy who investigates all these creepy like different things i mean i only saw a couple shows one of the shows in particular which i loved it was the uh weeping angel um show basically it was about these statues that um you know would would terrorize people and you know they would once you when you're looking at them they would be in a statue statue form and when you looked away they would become alive and they would you know terrorize you and keep coming after you until they killed you uh it's called the weeping angels um and there's the uh action figure there um right here on the box it says it's 5.5 inches tall um like i said it looks like a statue it's a weeping angel uh weeping angel collector figure okay Turn around the back here. It says Doctor Who. BBC's Doctor Who. You got the Weeping Angel. You got, it says 11th Doctor in Cowboy Hat. Um, right there you got the Dark Sec. Um, 15th Doctor. Sarah Jane Smith. Like I say, guys, I only saw the show a couple times, so I don't know all the... Um, different characters and actors and actresses uh, Rose Tyler down bottom um, but like I said um, I, he picked this up for me and I want to thank I want to give a shout out to uh, Joey Joey you know who you are thank you for the uh, for the piece here um, furthermore I didn't realize how expensive these were I don't know if they're like a limited type of thing but um, I saw on the bottom of the box here you see that it's twenty dollars you know so i had to go you know investigate and sure enough on the different uh buy sites websites that i went to um you know there are all these are around twenty dollars and up i mean there was none that were cheaper i don't know if that's what he paid because like i said this toy store was going out of business he might have got it cheaper than that hopefully um either way i think it's a pretty cool piece um, I am going to take it out of the package. Um, I actually, I'll take it out of the package right now and then show you guys one more look. Hang tight. Okay, guys, there you have it. Out of the package. Um, popped out of the package pretty easy. Only had two little twist ties holding it in. But um, as you can see, the Weeping Angel statue, I just folded the, uh, the arms out. They do move up and down, and the, and the hands move can move the hands different ways um, the head stationary but the wings <clears throat> move back and forth too see that I can do it like that there's the wings Pretty cool piece, guys. I haven't really thought about where I'm going to put it down in the horror collection, but it's so small. It's only five inches tall, so I'll fit it in somewhere. Like I said, the Weeping Angel episode from Doctor Who was probably one of my favorite episodes of that show. It's just a classic idea. Um, they actually turned the Statue of Liberty into a Weeping Angel. Um, 
That way anyone who looked at the Statue of Liberty and then looked away, you know. Check it out. I think the episode's on YouTube if you want to, you know, search it. It's just a pretty cool concept. Awesome, guys. All right. That's about it. Let me uh, get the day started here. I got some stuff to take care of. I'll see you next time around.